Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, I will be covering the engineering economics problem. Now, if we take a look at the specifications, there is really no section for depreciation. So this could either go under part A, which is time value of money, or maybe part C, analysis. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Now, depreciation equations are on the reference handbook and we must know it for the FE exam. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, a vehicle costs $85,000 and it has a salvage value of $27,000 after eight years. The interest rate is 11%. Now, using marks and a three-year recovery period, we want to determine the book value of the vehicle after the first two years. So the first thing we got to do is go to the reference handbook and take a look at the equations. Now, under engineer economics, you guys will see here that we have the equation for the book value, which equals to the initial cost minus D. Now, D is the depreciation, and we can solve it either using the straight line method or marks, okay? Now, in, this, in the problem that was given to us, we want to find the book value using marks. So we're going to use this equation here. And if you guys want to see the same problem, but instead of using marks, we use the straight line method, go ahead and comment below straight line method. Okay, so let's go over this equation here. So to find D is going to be equal to the factor times C. C is the initial cost. And in the factor, we're going to actually use the table here. Now, when we're using this table, this is where you got to be careful. And this is where we're going to go to the cheat sheet that we created. And then here I actually cover the steps on how to find the factor. OK, so if you haven't downloaded this cheat sheet yet, make sure that you guys do. It covers a lot of important concepts that are not provided to you on the reference handbook. And you must know it for your FE exam. So here we're going to take a look at just marks and then there's actually steps on how to determine the factor. So you have to look at the year book value and then the recovery period. And then from there, you can determine the factor. OK, so with that information, why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video, give this problem a try, and then you can come back and check your solution. Did you solve it? Let me know what you got in the comment section. OK, so the first thing we got to do, guys, is just write the equation down. OK, so that way we know exactly what we need to solve for. So we have the book value is going to be equal to the initial cost. Right. And then minus the depreciation. Now, the initial cost was actually given to us already, which is eighty five thousand dollars. Right. That's the initial cost of the car. And then for the depreciation, we're going to use marks to solve for it, right? So that now here we're going to have D is going to be equal to the factor times C. Now for the factor values, we're going to grab them from this table here. And also, if you guys remember earlier, we said the factor value depends on the recovery period and then also on the year of the book value, right? So in the problem, we were giving a three year recovery period. So we're going to take a look at this column here. And then also we're trying to find the book value at year two. Right now, when you are using this table, there are two things that you guys need to keep in mind. One is that all these numbers here are actually in percentage. Right. So when you plug them in the equation, you got to make sure that you divide by 100 so that you can get rid of the percentage. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you got to make sure that you add the factor values, right? So what I mean by that is here, we want to find the book value at year two, but for depreciate, depreciation, we actually have to add the depreciation at year one plus depreciation at year two, right? Because every year we have depreciation. And so if we're trying to find depreciation at year two, we have to add the previous depreciation, right? So you got to make sure that you always add all the values. So let me give you guys another example. Let's say we were giving, we had to find the book value at year four, right? With the three year recovery period. What that means is that the factor value is going to be the addition of all these values. And then we have to divide it by hundred, right? So you have to make sure that you always add all the values up to the year of the book value. Now let's plug in the numbers in this equation. And then also guys here, we can add two here, right? Because we want to find the depreciation at year two. And then that's why we're adding the two values. So the first factor here we're going to have is 
three, three, and then three, three, right? I just went ahead and divide them by 100 so that way I don't forget. And then plus 0 0.44, I think there's another four, and then five, and then we're gonna multiply it by the initial cost, which is $85,000. Okay, now if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're gonna get 66,113. Now the book value is just going to be the initial cost, which is $85,000. And then we're gonna do minus depreciation, which is 66,113, okay? Now if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're gonna get about $19,000 dollars okay and if we take a look at the multiple choice the answer is going to be a when you guys are doing fe problems make sure that you guys really focus on understanding the concepts because on the fe exam you never know what you're gonna get and so if they take the problem and they change it or tweak it a little bit you you will still be able to solve it because you have that deep understanding of the concepts and this is something that i really focus on on our courses and i also solve over 1000 problems with the step-by-step -step solution just like we did in this video i walk you through all the steps and then also every week you get to meet with me and all our students and we talk about engineering concepts we solve problems and then also the best tips on how to study smarter and pass the FE exam faster now if you are trying to pass your FE exam in the next three or four months make sure to check out our courses all our courses are on sale right now and they are going to help you pass your FE exam they have helped hundreds of our students pass their FE and you can also check out our reviews just to see if this course will be a right fit for you and if you have any questions please let us know in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,